we have already discussed sliding windows technique is computationally not effective so now we are trying to implement that sliding windows technique by using convolutional neural network so before the implementation of that first we learn how to represent a fully connected layer as a convolution layer we have considered an image here it is 14 by 14 by 3 which is a very small image it is having three channels width and height 14 by 14 now we have considered a convolutional neural network this is a 5 by 5 filter after the convolution 10 by 10 by 16 after that we have applied max pooling layer this is the fully connected layer now we are interested to represent these two fully connected layers and also the softmax layer which is having four neurons we wanted to represent these three layers as convolution layers so this is how we can represent the fully connected layer as a convolution layer now we are using a one by one representation here we have considered a five by five filter and we have taken 400 such filters each filter is having 16 channel same as the previous convolution layer channels after the application of this 5 by 5 filter with 16 channels the output is 1 by 1 so 1 by 1 we have 400 channels so 1 by 1 convolution we can we already learnt now this is a 1 by 1 this is 1 by 1 black with 400 channels then we are taking 1 by 1 convolution 1 by 1 filter with 400 channels again this is 1 by 1 by 400 so the same fully connected layer now we are representing as a convolution layer this will be helpful in order to replace the sliding windows technique by convolutional neural network now this is softmax layer also we are representing as a convolution layer we have considered a one by one filter in number of channels 400 so one by one by 400 and we have considered four such filters then the output is one by one by four this is how we can convert a fully connected layer into a convolutional layer now we are discussing uh, implementation of sliding windows by using convolution we have considered a 14 by 14 by 3 same image and then we have discussed already how we have converted the fully connected layer into convolutional layer so this is 1 by 1 by 400 1 by 1 by 400 and final layer 1 by 1 by 4 now we are taking the test image at this time we are adding two more rows and columns now this image size is 16 by 16 by 3 uh, so now we are doing convol the same filter we are using 5 by 5 filter we are using the output uh, we are using 16 such filters so output is 12 by 12 by 16 and then max pooling after the max pooling uh, the output is 6 by 6 by 16 this time we are using the 5 by 5 filter and uh, 400 such filters we are using so each filter is having 16 channel the output is 2 by 2 by 400 like this we have implemented the same terminologies here we have used the same filter here also we have used the same filter here also used the same filter everywhere we have used the same filter but the difference between the first implementation and the second implementation is we have considered two extra rows and columns in the image what additional advantage this will give you can assume like first we are considering example we have considered i am taking okay this one assume first we have considered this image the output of this is represented by using this left top corner and we have strided by two pixels and the output due to this image is represented 
with the right top corner and similarly we have strided two columns below and the output due to this image is the left bottom corner this one and similarly we have strided and this is the output due to this image which is right bottom corner previously we have cropped or we have taken a sliding window and each time we have to shift the sliding window we are getting four such images and we are giving four those four images independently and because of that computationally it is not effective and computational cost is increasing now we are performing the convolution operation we are not sending the four images independently in this technique we are simultaneously we are getting output for those four images and whether in those four images car is there or not we are simultaneously getting the output now we want to implement this to a little bigger image this time we have considered a little bigger image 28 by 28 by 3 and after the application of the same filter 5 by 5 you observe the filters we are using the same filters 2 by 2 5 by 5 and uh, 1 by 1 and 1 by 1 finally we got 8 by 8 by 4 an image with uh, finally the output is 8 by 8 and we are having four such uh, channels this is indicating that in each box we are here representing so eight by eight boxes are there you can see here so 64 images we are taking you can assume we are taking these images with the sliding windows so these 64 images which we have considered with the sliding window each box in this output is having four channels information which is representing whether in that particular image pedestrian is there car is there or some other motorcycle is there or only background is there that information is given in each box we are representing here with the four channels so leaving about the channels so we have 64 such boxes here means from the original input we have slided the window and we captured 64 slide by 64 images by sliding that window and we have given those 64 images to the convolutional neural network in order to predict whether in that particular sliding window captured image the car is there or not but this we have not done manually as we have done previously we are not manually sliding the window independently we are not doing that so it is computationally effective by using this convolutional neural network we are directly getting 64 captured images with the sliding whatever we have got by using the sliding window technique the same the 64 captured images we have got here without uh, the need of independently giving those images to the convolutional neural network this concept was explained in this paper 2014 it was published and the title is overfit integrated recognition localization and detection using convolutional neural network so this is how we have considered an image 28 by 28 and the same filters here also we are considering and finally we got the 8 by 8 by 4 image we want to apply it to the real time problem example this is a car image in this car image we have considered different different sliding windows and all these sliding windows are capturing uh, and after that we are predicting whether in that particular window the image is car or not but the drawback we, we mention here is the bounding box is not defined accurately for that we will discuss in the next lectures as we discussed previously about the sliding window the bounding box was defined accurately but here in order to make sure that the bounding definition of the bounding box to be inaccurate what we have to do that we will discuss later